Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to probably the biggest haul for 2023. In today's video I have a cumulative haul that I want to share with you because I feel that I haven't had a haul in a good while. So without any other further ado, I will uh, let you know that I have products from Beautylish. I have two orders from Beautylish. Uh, from Clarins. I also have a body shop and a few cult beauty and even uh, elf. Speaking about that, I will start with elf. I just uploaded a review. Actually, I recorded it today, but it will be up before this video. And I was uh, mostly focusing on the new Halo Glow wand from elf. I'm not going to go into the details, please check out that video. And I was also telling you that I have a previous order with ELF and I forgot to show you a few things that I bought. I also forgot, but I couldn't try them because I already tried a lot of ELF products. So this is the Power Grip Primer plus Niacinamide. Niacinamide. This is the primer that is infused with niacinamide. I believe I tried it once. I don't remember how I feel about this, but I will have to try it in an upcoming video. And also in that order, I got the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. I have another setting powder from e.l.f. and I'm not a big fan of that because it flies literally everywhere when I open it. I just inhale it, so I don't like that kind of product, even though it might be good. It's too finely milled and doesn't stay in one place. So this is what the e.l.f. Halo Glow powder looks like. It's more like a skin tone and I believe it has more shades. Okay, it's sealed, so back to try this in an upcoming video. I have a ton of e.l.f. products. I have to stop. And this little guy, this is the Halo Glow powder puff probably it works with the powder not probably for sure it works with the powder it was out of stock for the longest time so i have managed to put my hands on this guy and i tried it a few times i like it meanwhile i have ordered a bunch of the powder puffs from amazon not uh, from sheen and i also love those one but this is more substantial i would say so yeah this is about elf and then I have two more blushes from Westman Atelier and you'll say, Julia, but you showed us three. So yeah, there is a story behind. So first I purchased the Bichette and those I purchased from uh, Cult Beauty. That is my favorite website to purchase from. I hope they will not change. And I purchased the shade Bichette and I have a short video about those. So I'm going to insert the swatches for those shades. And you also know that I have the Shushet. So this is the Bichette and first let's admire the beautiful packaging. Absolutely love it. It's stunning. And this is the shade. It's more rich. I also worn this as a lipstick and it looks fantastic for me, for my complexion. This kind of color, it works perfect as a lipstick. And after that, I got notification that Petal was back in stock. This is how the journey started because from the start I wanted just one single shade. I wanted Petal, but it always it was out of stock. So I ordered this and when I receive it, now it's already worn. When I receive it, I've seen it was slightly swatched on the sides, maybe once or two. It, it, the, you know, usually it's, it has this luscious and it wasn't. It, it looks like it was swatched. Not on the top. The top was perfectly sealed to say that. And I mailed them immediately with a picture. And I kid you not, I think eight hours later, they replied to me and they said that they, and they, said that they are going to send me a, a restock. So I got another brand new Westman Atelier blush in petal. So yeah, I have two. Now I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this. Meanwhile, I have used and I've worn the one that was already swatched and I will keep this maybe for a upcoming giveaway. So yeah, this is as good as new and doesn't have any stain, any, how to say, traces that, traces that it was swatched. So it's just untouched. You have this small dip on top when it's brand new. 
because of the packaging. Body Shop was uh, having a promotion. They had free shipping with everything. Not that shipping it's too expensive, but anyway, if there is a possibility to get free shipping, why not? And I'm running low on my body wash. Actually, the one that I'm using right now, it has just a little bit left and it's something that I got in Boxy Charm two years ago. So I finished everything from Body Shop. I was actually wanting to get something from them, but I was all the time uh, not uh, be able to place an order when they had sales. So finally, when I've seen there is free shipping, I went and purchased, I think, three. So I, I kept them because I wanted to show you the packaging. I thought it's very nice. I love the way they, they packed it. And with personalized paper, here it's written, the body shop. Oh my God, my battery is flashing. Those are from the Christmas collection, the vanilla pumpkin. And then this is from the new collection British Rose Shower Gel. So this is new to me. And of course, those are also new. Oh, it smells divine. I love the smell of roses and especially Brit British Rose is even more pleasant. Let's smell this and after that I'll have to put my battery to charge. I love it. It's definitely, definitely amazing. See you in a while. For you, it will only be one second. So in one of my previous videos where I have tried those Milky Boost capsules from Clarins, I have mentioned that I'm very interested to get the double eye serum. And I have found a good offer on one of our online retailers. I think this was a limited edition for holiday and it contains the double serum in uh, full size, a cleansing oil and a mascara. So I said it's a good deal to get it. The price for this on um, the official website it's higher so I got at least 30% discount and it's coming in this very nice well-made pouch, quite a good size for travel. It's a red pouch and here you have a zipper in a shape of a leaf where it's written the brand logo and it matches my nails. I think I have another mascara of this. This is the Super Lift, Supra Lift and Curl Mascara in intense black. So this is a travel size. This is very interesting wand. So it's like curved, but here you say it had been chopped. So some bristles are not completely equal. And this is the cleansing oil. I believe that they, I, I also got this in the pouch or in the kit that I created when I purchased from Clarins. But I have it only in 10 ml and this is 50 ml. So I'm excited to try this one. And of course, the start of the show, the double eye serum. So this is a global age control concentrate and it has 20 ml. Now I have seen on the website, I didn't purchase this from Clarins, but on the website it's written that they are going to reformulate this one. So I have no idea if they are going to change also the packaging, but this is the original packaging. And you have two pumps, not two pumps, two recipients. And when you pump it, it came into consistency to say that a cream and a like oil type of product so I will be very interested I will try it for sure after I finish my current eye cream which I don't have too much and I will report back but I'm very excited this is a splurge for me it was a Easter present from me to me and with the same uh, very same order with the Clarins because I ordered from the same website when I went to Sephora Italy I tested a Jo Malone perfume that I just has just blown my mind. I have been in love with this, but I could not remember exactly which one it was. So I thought is this one. No, I'm not completely sure because the packaging was indeed black, but I find that maybe it's, it's something else. So this is the Mirt and Tonka. I got it in 9 ml. They also had it in 50 ml, which is the standard size. I think also size. They also have it in 100 ml and it lasts a lot. I worn it two times. Second time it was yesterday when I went to office, but I think this is enough to realize if you like it. This is a unisex scent. I cannot remember for the life of me if this was the one that I tried in Milan. I remember it was some Tonka. I hope I'm not wrong because this is the only one with Tonka that I found in black bottle. Before going to the Beautylish 
orders that are the last one that I'm going to show today. Maybe if refer is coming by the end of recording, I will insert that one also because it's not too much. I received today from this company that I also uh, worked with. It's not worth, uh, this is not PR, this is not advertising is just a consumer test and I apply for some campaigns and sometimes I'm <laughs> accepted to test and I'm very excited for the product because those are new and I wanted to try them so I have already recorded a short reel so those are the L'Oreal Revitalift Clinical 12% Vitamin E plus Salicylic Acid Turn Pores Lines it looks very interesting and I'm um, definitely excited. And it has a pleasant smell. It's not overpowering, like not the one that I had from the Age Perfect. That one was the Night Midnight Serum, but I told the uh, person it's slightly strong. This is mild. And the Revitalift Clinical Vitamin C SPF 50. Now I will uh, not be able to tell you what is written here, what are the claims, because it's written in Polish. Ah, sorry, we have it English here. So it's written fine wrinkles and dark spots, invisible finish and ultra light texture. Brightening daily moisturizer with SPF 50, UVA and UVB. Sorry, so yeah, it contains everything. And now for the Beautylish order. This is the standard Beautylish packaging. They had the Beautylish card event I believe it was earlier this year, it was in March, usually it's in April, but I got to understand that they <laughs> probably move it in March because it all the time it was overlapping with the Sephora um, sales, so yeah, people are not so interested then to purchase from Beautylish. This is the first order that I purchased and because it was ca qualifying for the expedite shipping, I got it very fast, I got it in like four days after I ordered it. But then I was browsing and I have uh, found two more things to add to my cart. So first I'm going to show this one. So I have a few Chikuhodo brushes. Let me take them out from uh, their packaging. I just wanted to show you what they look like. So they have the same type of label. Now to be honest, I am slightly disappointed because I didn't know they are so short. I have five brushes. Two are for the face. This is the cheek brush. It's very lovely. This is not so small, not compared to the one, this one for example. So this is the cheek brush. This is extremely soft. All of them are extremely soft. And this is the highlight brush. And then I have those three brushes for the eyes. The eyeshadow. This is the shadow liner. And this is the, I think it's flat. And also, I, um, it's eyeshadow. So yeah, they don't have specific names, just what they are used for. And also from uh, Chiku Hodo, I got this brush. This is the foundation brush, doesn't say. No, it's GSN 05, GSN I believe, 05. It's for foundation. And this was recommended by Sonia G. She has made a gift guide or recommendation for brushes to purchase from Beautylish which are not hers or from her line. So I purchased this one and it's really soft, it's smaller so it's recommended for foundation but you can use it for all kind of purposes when you're working with cream products on your face. And of course I could not pass not get a few Sonia G brushes so I uh, got the classic base. This is from the Fusion collection and it's from the set with the, this is the jumbo, jumbo base, sorry, so classic base, jumbo base, and it's also from the set with the jumbo concealer, so those, I had them already, they are already in my collection, and now I got this one, and I think this is as much as I'm interested from the Fusion set, I don't want all the brushes, but who knows, maybe in future, and then I wanted a few more brushes from the blue collection, so this is the soft cheek, it looks long and slim but after you wash it she will uh, fluff up so yeah it's very very beautiful all of them are from natural fibers i believe this one has blend of synthetic fibers because it's for meant for cream also from for cream, for cream products and from the sky collection i also purchased an 
eye brush that I don't have and this is the soft shader and let me where are you I thought it's quite similar to the worker pro so this is the soft shader from the blue set and this is the worker pro yeah they are quite similar this is of course it's not washed so that's why it's not so fluffy and now I have four out of five brushes from this Kai set and those are the brushes actually I have five because I have two of the flat definers that you know I, I love this so much so I have the flat definer the mini booster the Chris Pro I think it's called this one classic Chris sorry and now I have the soft shader so um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get the fifth one because that it's a little bit more big for what I'm loving on a brush I don't have so big eyes so those were all the brushes that I purchased on the first order because I told you that I placed a second order and this was smaller in quantity but look it's just humongous I, I don't understand why they are wasting so much material and I have this package from Good Molecules because I have a product from Good Molecules I have repurchased the Hyaluronic Acid Serum which I love I just currently have it in my rotation I have the brushes here I haven't opened them yet this order arrived yesterday it took a lot to arrive usually the standard shipping it's not that slow but this time around it was very slow so I have two more Sonia G brushes let me show them to you so I have the classic cheek which is this one and I have this which is the cheek pro it's slightly smaller and also slimmer but why I got this one after I placed my order the next day I think it was Saturday or so I've noticed that I could have got one of her cheeky brushes with one of the towels so I uh, yeah she was uh, giving this together with this towel and of course I wanted to have the towel who doesn't want that and then I just needed a few more dollars to get over 100 to qualify for the gift card and I got a unit brush this is the unit 203 it's a blender brush very nice but this is synthetic brush but look at the size compared to the Sonia G they are quite similar but of course different materials different handle different type of uh, manufacturer is not remotely close of course you get the job done with this uh, there was an offer that for any unit product that you purchase doesn't matter the value you are getting you are getting a loose powder so I got the loose setting powder in transparent I didn't know that it's a full size I'm not sure if I'm going to open it now I'm not sure if I'm uh, keep it or not so that's why I don't want to open it but it's just a transparent powder all right you guys so here we are with the last part of this very very big hole so I was telling you that I'm waiting for my referral order to arrive I just received it today but meanwhile I have been shopping just a tad not too much so I wanted to show you that I finally purchased the L'Oreal telescopic mascara telescopic lift mascara now why she got two is because my local drugstore Rosman was having that promotion for mascara one plus one free and I was I didn't know what else to grab because you can grab which mascara you want and get the cheapest one as free so I just went and grabbed blindly those two I did a try on today with this mascara the video will be later up on my channel so stay tuned for that so this is the brush that has been all over the internet and I think there was also a drama when I ordered um, perfume for my husband, it was his birthday a while ago. I ordered it from the same company where from I ordered the um, Clarins set. So first I got this one, I showed you already. And then I couldn't resist, I wanted to try another Jo Malone perfume. So this is the Peony and Blush Sweet Cologne. The difference between those two beside the color of the box of the bottle is the fact that this is just cologne it's all the perfume but this is intense and I can tell that this doesn't last the way that this it's I will say it lasts on me up to five hours but I need to reapply it but I love the scent it's absolutely gorgeous and finally my refer order has arrived here are some brushes 
they had the biggest delay. They also sent email to apologize. They had the biggest delay of their life with the shipping. So I have gotten another backup of the gentle brush soap. This is the only soap that I use as of now. In, and the only downside about this soap, I will say that is the fact that it doesn't have a container, but the product is very good. And this lasts me about a year. So I have another backup and one that I'm using, but I'm almost out. And I, I don't wash my brushes very often. Also because I mostly use my Fude and it's recommended not to wash them every time, just clean them with spray and so on. But this lasts a lot because it's very concentrated and doesn't melt away like other brushes do. So it's very, very good. And they had a promotion for those sponges. So I grabbed two. This is the makeup sponge. This reminds me of a sponge that I had, a texture. It's not so pore-y. It doesn't have so much pores. It's nice, but I will have to be the judge when I'm going to use it. But it's very soft. I got four brushes. I was hunting for this brush to come in stock. This is the brush number 36 and I thought I can use it for concealer. I love this kind of shape. I will, I will say that it's very good for my eye shape. And then I have this, which is the brush number 33. <clears throat> or maybe this was for the concealer. I have no idea. What for, what for was this targeted? But those were out of stock and I remember that they were newly introduced to their collection last year. So I'm excited about this. And then I've seen they have those brushes. This is the Pro Handle. And you, you see the difference, the Pro Handle and the regular handle. This is matte and the Pro Handle, it's shiny and you only have the air here, doesn't, uh, say refer. Meanwhile, those have the refer. I don't know, I would prefer to have a refer written, but anyway, I know my brushes and those are two of my favorite brushes from refer. The zero f 02 and zero 03. I think zero 01 was out of stock, otherwise I would grab that one, but I'm, I'm enjoying to have them in this kind of handles. I don't know if the sale is going on, I will pop my uh, referral link. I'm an affiliate with refer, but I buy most of the brushes with my own money. So if you purchase to that, through that link, some uh, commission will be added to my <laughs> account. But anyway guys, this is everything. And other than that, please let me know if you are interested in a separate dedicated review for any of those products that I've been showing in today's video. I want to wish you all a wonderful day. Don't forget that the most beautiful makeup is your own smile and I'm going to see you very soon. Bye bye! Thank you.